In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the secret mindsets that the most successful and prominent people in the world have used to get to where they are. And if you just implement a couple of these, I guarantee that you'll be able to follow in their footsteps. Watch to the end of the video for the best tips, and I know these will work for you. My name is Steven, and on this channel, I share with you the knowledge and ideas that made me a millionaire and that will make you one too. Financial success enables us to have the freedom to pursue our passion and purpose and really realize our full potential. If you like the sound of that, then hit the subscribe button down below. Also hit the bell notification so that more videos like this can be shown to you in the future. So let's kick off the video right away with the number one mindset, and that is admire other people's successes. So successful people admire other people's successes and achievements, whereas unsuccessful people resent other people's accomplishments and achievements and success. And I'm not going to lie to you. I definitely used to be one of these people. We naturally just come up with reasons in our head why that person that you see doesn't deserve the car that they have or the house that they have or the job that they have. We come up with ideas like, oh, they were handed this to them by a wealthy parent or they just got really lucky. But in actuality, 80% of millionaires in the US are self-made. They put in so much time and effort and hard work to where they deserve the success that they have. And we're really diminishing that when we put false narratives onto them. And we're actually hurting ourselves as well. Because when we do that, we're actually associating negative thoughts and beliefs with success. So we're actually putting negative feelings onto that which we want which ends up pushing it further and further away from us. So the next time that you see someone with something that you want, don't be resentful or jealous. Be happy for them. Say to yourself internally, wow, that's awesome. Maybe even try to befriend that person. Try to learn from them. You never know what you could get out of that interaction. And also, you'll no longer be pushing away subconsciously that which you actually want. Now, number two, play to win. Now, successful people play to win, while unsuccessful people play not to lose. Now, those things might sound similar to you, but they're actually very different. Most people play the game of life and career and relationships and success on the defense. And I know I definitely used to be guilty of that as well. My mind was set in this mode to only be going after things when there was no risk involved. I had to stop thinking about survival and security, and I had to think about, I had to think more about thriving than anything else. And this has never been more true than right now, with huge rising inflation rates and massively expanding technological advancements in certain industries. You have to be growing and expanding quickly. Time is your most valuable asset and you cannot let it pass you by. You have to grow and you have to move quickly. Time is your most valuable asset. Unsuccessful people will waste time and they'll think small. While successful people who are playing to win go on the offense are always using their time wisely and they double or 5x or 10x their goals. To play to win, you have to think bigger and move quicker. And speaking of moving quicker, quickly hit that like button down below. It's not hard to do and it means a lot. Moving on to number three, act in spite of fear. Successful people act in spite of fear, whereas unsuccessful people let fear stop them dead in their tracks. Successful people feel that fear. They have the worries, they have the doubts, but they still move past it and push forward. Successful people feel that fear and they step into it. And they do it in their personal life and in their professional life. So ask for that raise or start that business or talk to the person that you want to date. Feel that tension. Don't get rid of the tension. You have to move into the tension. Pressure builds diamonds. 
And the only good things, the best things, come from things that are hard. Get okay with being uncomfortable. The best things come when you're outside of your comfort zone. You don't have to get rid of the fear to be successful. You just have to embrace it and move into it. Number four, consistently learn and grow. Successful people consistently learn and grow while unsuccessful people think that they already know everything. When you are intellectually honest with yourself and you say the words to yourself, I don't know, you open up a world of possibilities for yourself and you never know what's going to happen after that. This item on the list, you might be saying to me, Stephen, of course you have to learn and grow. Everybody knows that. But I challenge you to really take it to the next level. I mean, think about Warren Buffett. The guy is 91 years old and he says that he still spends 80% of his time reading to increase his knowledge and his depth of understanding on subjects. The day that you think you know everything is the day that you start losing. If a man of Warren Buffett's age and prestige does this, don't you think we should too? And this brings us to our last and final item, which is number five, be bigger than your problems. Successful people are bigger than their problems, while unsuccessful people are smaller than their problems. Grow your capacity to handle problems and situations better. And you can do this by expanding your skill set or your knowledge or even your personal network so you have different influences that change how you act when certain situations come up. Don't try to avoid problems. You're going to have problems whether you're poor or rich or young or older at any stage in your life. Just get better at dealing with your problems and the bigger problems that you can resolve, the more success you're actually going to find. So let's quickly recap the five mindsets that we all need to improve on to find more success in our life. Number one is admire others' successes. Number two is play to win. Number three is act in spite of fear. Number four is grow and learn continuously. And number five is be bigger than your problems. I used to not have any of these mindsets, and I was still doing fairly well. But if you really want to make that big level up change in your life, embrace these. Make these mindsets a part of who you are, and I guarantee that you'll be able to level up and realize your full potential. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I believe in you, and I'll see you next time.